In Australia, life is great. It gets pretty busy too. When we're busy, we don't always remember those things we should be doing. One of those things is protecting ourselves from the sun. While skin damage is usually associated with hot weather, it's actually UV or ultraviolet radiation that causes skin damage such as sunburn and increases our risk of skin cancer. Many people aren't aware that UV levels and the subsequent damage to our health can be high even on cool or mild days. UV radiation is not hot. It is present every day, and therefore people often make the mistake of underestimating the damage they are receiving from the sun on cooler days. Cancer Council of WA produce large display format, real-time UV meters designed to inform members of our community about the true UV risk. This information can really help in reducing our lifetime risk of skin cancer. The meters display a number on the International UV Index. When it is three or higher, sun protection is needed. Solar powered and weatherproof, the UV meters are ideal for almost any location and setting. The city of Melville puts priority on the health and well-being of its community and decide to put this UV meter here as uh, raising awareness about UV radiation and skin cancer. This location was chosen because it has a lot of people passing by and walking, cycling. There is a lot of uh, boat activities all the time here. People really look at that and comes and admire the piece and also look at the information. For us it's really good because it shows that it's theirs, and so you actually can appreciate the art and also receive a message. The primary purpose of the UV meter is to raise awareness of UV levels, as well as to provide a reminder for people to be sun smart during their daily activities, whether that be work, school or recreation. Perth Airport is a, is a very sun smart company. We take the protection of our people very seriously. So we do have standard work procedures for all the activities that we conduct. A lot of those activities are outside. So we insist on personal protective equipment, hats, long sleeves, sun protection as in sun cream. And this UV meter for us was just an additional trigger mechanism. It is a very, very good focal point to go, well, when I left the building an hour ago, that was reading two, three, whatever it was reading. Well, actually now it's increased. It just gives you the ability to reassess whether you have protected yourself because a procedure is static. That gives you the flexibility to assess as you're going along and to do it throughout your day. So from a safety perspective, anything that triggers a thought process which makes you question, have I taken the appropriate levels to protect myself or the appropriate precautions, I, I couldn't advocate for it strongly enough. It's good to have the UV meter because it gives us a, a good reminder about being sun smart. When we look at the UV meter, we see that uh, when we should either find shade or wear our hats. It's reinforcing that message that if it's a high rating, then uh, what are they going to do about it? And, and that's a, it's a good clear message and a good clear sign for them to, to see what's out there. The kids actually can be independent, they don't need to, us to be always prompting them to say, you need to have your hat on, they can actually go and pass, look at that and make that decision for themselves. It's a responsibility that we need to do to educate them about what is sensible sun smart practices. Cancer Council UV meters have a place anywhere people are exposed to the sun. They are a powerful, timely reminder for people to be sun smart, as well as being an ideal education and awareness tool in the fight against skin cancer. For further details about the Cancer Council of Western Australia's UV meters, visit myuv.com.au.